Okay, I want to use uh, an example to show you how to use um, what's called the PHP underscore self uh, variable. And basically what this is, is that instead of sending data from a form off to another page to be processed, you can send it to the same page. Okay, so it processes it uh, with itself. So there's code in the page itself that when you click the button, it actually pre-processes that page again on the server and then delivers it back to the client. And that's done with this server variable, dollar underscore server. So you can see here, dollar underscore server, PHP underscore self. So the word self is important, okay? And this is a, a server variable so that when something's sent, it knows the name of it and it can use the name of it and, and it, it grabs it into this server variable okay so what we're going to do is we're going to make a form with the action okay the action here action equals and the action is going to be to call itself this uh, function in HTML special charts gets rid of any any characters that shouldn't be there for a file name basically the method is still post so we're going to post and we're going to do that the form will look pretty much the same as we had before okay so um, if I just clear that off and our form from before I think I might have got rid of it now that this is our form okay so we've got a, a, a box two text boxes okay one there one there and we've got a submit button and that's what we want to do so it, it will show that we enter some stuff in there now why do I want it to call itself right because if I enter an incorrect name or I miss out a name I'd like it to show me on this page that there is um, rather than going to another page and then it coming back to this page I'd like it to just show me in here next to this often we see stars or we change the border okay now we've done that in JavaScript but we're going to do that in PHP as well so this is on the server side so um, let's have a look at the code that we got here so all I've done in addition to that PHP self is I've added some PHP code to echo some variables okay so here for the value that's what should what go the value that goes into the box remember we've used that a lot with get element by ID um, dot value okay so the value is going to be set with a PHP variable echo name the placeholder so that's the grayed out text that appears inside a text box is going to be name prompt so when they enter something or they haven't entered anything or they've entered it incorrectly I would like the name prompt to appear in the box same with the email there's the email variable and there's the email prompt now the problem is when we run this the first time how does it know what those variables are set to because obviously they've got to be set to something because the value is going to equal it can equal nothing okay but it's going to be set to nothing and then when it gets pre-processed again when it's when we've clicked the post okay when we've clicked the button and it's posted it needs to know that it's posted and then update these variables okay so this is just the body section if you see okay this is just the body section here of our web page so what I would do is at the top of the page we put some other code which will try and set those variables for us so here's I'm in the head section now so I've got the head here and I've got some PHP code in the head section so what I've got PHP is quite nice it lets me do this it says dollar underscore name equals email equals name prompt equals email prompt equals nothing so I can set them all to the same value to start with so I'm just defining some variables there now what I then do is ask the question has the button been pressed has a post been initiated so that's this bit here the request method ha is there been a request to the server with a post from basically ha has it happened has somebody clicked the button so if there has then it will do some things inside this if okay it will do all of this if there hasn't it will ignore all of that and it will just carry on doing what it needs to do so it will go back to this page and all of these so dollar name is not set dollar name prompt is not set well they're all set to empty so it will just show empty 
so it would just show an empty form okay now what if the button has been pressed so if it has been pressed then I'm going to set the variables I have to set the variables so I'm going to set name and email here now these are two filters okay so I've got filter var post name and filter var post emails now these are built it's a built-in function which filters out through the text that's been posted and just make sure it's called sanitize so it will sanitize it okay um, and I really should sanitize the email as an email not as a string okay there are various other um, constants that you can use to sanitize so that sanitizes and then we ask the question if the name is equal to nothing if there's nothing in the name then I'm going to set the name prompt variable to enter a name if the email is nothing I'm going to set the email prompt to enter an email address so this is in the head so remember it's a script it works down the page so it will process this first and then it will go go to this page and then it will hit all of these PHP bits so if a value has been sent for set for name then it will echo the name there so if one's already in there if not something's been set for prompt it will echo the prompt in there okay so basically we, we're calling the, the the page itself so let's just see it working um, so here we've got it working so I've called it test 2 so here's my button so if I click the submit query now then I'll just bob it into the middle a bit more okay then there we go so we said enter a name enter an email address because nothing's in there so if I put my name into here and now press it it should keep the name as it was and do that so if I put uh, anything in there and then take that out then it will do that way around okay so it's actually processing itself you'll see this hasn't changed okay but remember there's some pre-processing going on before it gets to this page so so the, we've got a head section which does some of that and if you look at this is my final um, uh, PHP file so I've got all the variables there I've got the server I've got the sanitized bits if that is that and I could add some more complexity into there obviously but this is my body and that will do that okay so this is a good example of how to make it call itself we don't want it to go away and navigate away to another page and then have to reset this page okay we want to be able to do it on this page okay and some of the examples in the exercises you do will have to do that okay so make sure you understand this